What's up, everybody? Welcome to Lost Spot. I'm your host, Sebastian, and we are talking to They Went Ghost, and I got Ava Gore joining me today. Oh, no! Oh, boy! Ah, here it comes! The motherfucking Loud Spot! All right, before we get started, I do want to remind everyone to please subscribe to our YouTube channel, and you can check us out on all audio podcasting platforms. All right, they went ghost. Are you guys still, like, repping Vacaville? Because I don't – like, the band doesn't even really live in Vacaville, right? Yeah, we do. do you, I mean, you do. Uh, three quarter, yeah, three, yeah, three quarters of the band lives in Vacaville. <laughs> oh, okay. So you guys are yep. still right. But, but Colby was like, eh. oh, yeah, weed, I'm, but, yeah. I'm fine. No, I'm five hours or four and a half hours. Away. Four hours. Sorry, fuck, dude. Four hours it's like away. Three and a half. And then I lived four thousand miles away, not too long ago in Florida. So, and Ryan is there. So me and Ryan moved away to Florida, ten minutes away from each other. Weird. And he stayed there. So now I'm the guitar player again, and uh, and we're one we're down one member, but it's cool. We're making it work, and yeah, good. Yeah, because they went ghost, did go ghost. Like you guys totally stopped playing <laughs> playing for a while. And you know, I was so upset. I was looking for the shirts that my wife and I both had. We had they went ghost shirts, mm-hmm. and we tried to find them. We've moved. But they went ghost. Huh? Well, they went ghost. They went. The shirts <laughs> yeah. went ghost too. And yep. I was trying to find it just to show it. Now, though, I'm sure your guys' merch has changed. So the band kind of stopped playing, um, I mean, a while ago. What? Why did you guys stop playing? And what brought you guys back together to start doing music again? Well, um, I'll take this one. I moved away. It was my fault. So I, I got married. I moved out. My wife was uh, captain in the military. She got stationed out in Florida, ah. Tampa. For four years, almost five years actually, and uh, yeah. But then we came back, I and we moved back home where we want to be in California, but not so close to the Sacramento area anymore. Live up in the mountains in the sticks, and uh, yeah. I mean, I'm I'm making it work. I'm driving out there and practicing when I can, and then we're back on some festivals again, and it's pretty sweet. So, um. I wanted to say when I looked up your guys' band how sweet it is that there's a song that was written in uh, one hour at um, I assume your wedding uh, mm-hmm. or someone's yep. wedding. Yeah, okay. Yep. <laughs> um, I think that's really awesome. That I don't know, just it was written one hour and you guys recorded it, and I think that's really, really, really sweet. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Yeah, it was it was cool. We wrote it at the actual venue acoustically, and then. Um, uh, they came, the guys came to Florida and we recorded it there and then we mastered it at our studio in California. So it was like, it was, it would bounce back and forth and, uh, it was cool though. We all, all, all really freestyled it and it came out really great too. It's, it's amazing. We don't really play it. I mean, it's very soft for us, but it was beautiful. And we had every single member that have ever has ever been in the band, uh, perform on it or, you know, track it. So and that's awesome. that, that's awesome. yeah, that was pretty sweet. <laughs> Joe, were you excited? Were you excited when Colby was moving back to Northern California, even though it was so far away? Were you, were you like immediately, we got to get the band back together. Like whose idea was it? It was Colby's idea. Actually. Oh, cool. Like, I'm going back. I can't I'm wait. Going I'm back, back on the West coast, bro. We're going to fucking yep. get back together. We're going to do some shows. Like, let's, let's do it. I'm like, all right, yeah. let's do it. <laughs> like, I haven't been playing. Well, I've been messing around with different, you know, stuff here and there, but I haven't really been playing shows or right. anything like that. We've done two shows so far since we got everything back together. And it's been challenging with the sets. Cause like, it's been five years since we played any of the music. So we're trying to remember and yeah. trying to get some new stuff, but it's like, we're trying to remember the old stuff first and then try to get some new things and picking up some of uh, Colby songs that he wrote while he was in Florida as well. So mm-hmm. kind of just like showing the extension of like, the new they went goes compared to what we were five or six years ago, you know. Is the style going to stay the same? Because I would, you know, it's kind of like a re- like reggae rock kind of sound that you guys had. Are you guys yeah. going to stick with that same? I mean, just kind of that's that's kind of the, the sound that everyone remembers, anyways. Yeah, it, it's still that way a lot. Uh, there's there's a little bit of some differences going on, but uh, I mean, but for the most part, we're trying to lean toward because a lot of people are like. 
Are you a reggae band with rock elements? Are you a rock band with reggae elements? We are. We're both. <laughs> yeah. It depends yeah. on the, it depends so, on the song. I mean, it really it just depend, depends on yeah. the song, right? Exactly. And there's some songs that are all reggae with a little bit of heavy rock at the end, like Expendables do. Mm. And uh, then there's uh, our reggae songs that are, you know, it, there are our rock songs. They're all like rock. They're all drivey rock, and there's not much reggae. But we have a very limited amount of them. But still, it, I mean, it's it's pretty sweet. It's yeah. nice I'm trying to, to kind of go more towards the mellow, like mellow a little bit. Still be heavy, but like there's more of the, I don't know, ambient tones with reggae, and mm-hmm. you know, just kind of like taking our style, but just making a little bit more, I guess, grown up than mm-hmm. we were before. Because like you know, we're all like me and Colby are both parents now. Like yeah. <laughs> we. We work for a living, so it's mm-hmm. kind of like. Wait, so you can't? I just, fuck that, dude! You need to have every single one of your songs needs to just be screaming only. Heavy okay. metal screaming songs. You know what's funny is I have a side was, project for that. I know, yeah, and I, and I never got in. I never was into all screamy music. I always liked the, uh, you know, the a uh, variety of sing. of singing and, and screaming. And now I listen to a lot of just really screamy music that I and I love it and. I think I got better at it, and I still, uh, I and mean, we still incorporate that in the band at mm-hmm. times. There's some stuff that we where we use that, but uh, yeah, I mean, it, it's fun. It's fun music, man. I got it, a, yeah. <laughs> I got a funny story. I got a funny story about Colby, and it was from before you met oh, your wife. I was gonna mention it, man. I was gonna mention it. How I was catfished in 2014. Yeah. Check this. Check this out. So before Colby met his wife and and got married, had kids and stuff like that. Uh, we had went down, my wife and I took a trip to Vacaville, and he, I think the Day Went Ghost was playing a show, and you and my wife got to talking somehow, we were sitting there, and she's like, I know this really cute girl that'd probably be into you, and sends him, like, her information, they want to become, like, Facebook friends, and it wasn't even really her, like, what, what's yep. your story behind it? Yeah, oh, my story was, we talked for, like, a week, it didn't get too crazy, it was like, oh, dude, yeah, you're, you're really awesome, we're vibing, whatever, and then, uh, and then she's like, I really like you. And I just want to let you know that uh, uh, this is not me in the picture. <laughs> and I was like, I was so pissed. I think I remember when that happened. <laughs> yeah, we lived together. And yeah. you cra- and Joe was laughing his ass off on the couch the whole time. <laughs> and he was like, you got catfish, bro. And yeah. I, was, I was so pissed off and, and frustrated. And she's like, so are we still going to talk? I was like, no. I mean, and it's not, it's not because, you know. I mean, I'm not like, dude. <laughs> I'm, it, yeah, it's not. And it's not because like she is, is different in her picture. It's because of the lie, man. That was just like, nah, I don't base my relationships on lies, man. That's, that's ridiculous. Yeah. Dude, but I mean, you got lucky, so really. Yeah. Um, I, you got lucky because some people like spend like 10 years or something like that, like talking to someone and never knowing that they're not the actual person. I think that's crazy. But yeah. at least she came out right out and said, it's not me. <laughs> yeah. I mean. But at the same time, it's like, what are you doing catfishing people, lady? Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. That's no, not for cool. sure. <laughs> you know? But, Honestly, yeah, at least it didn't last 10 years. <laughs> yeah. It's like, why catfish? You're just setting yourself up for failure. So my question for you, yeah. Sebastian, yeah. is your wife knows this chick. Did she know she was up to the to this no. or no good? She, she was catfished, too. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> she was catfished, too. Yeah. No, I thought it was Damn. this actual person. And she's a- not. She felt so bad and she was like, oh my God, I seem like such a fucking liar all of a sudden or oh, whatever. Bro, yeah, well, you she are. didn't know. She, well, funny. you are, lady, and uh, that's, that's brutal. Like, she's like, I can't believe she was just out there catfishing everybody. I mean, that's, yeah, that's not cool. Anyways, no. yeah. <laughs> I don't even think she talks to her friends on Facebook anymore. That was yeah. like a very short lived, also, friendship. That's yeah. when she found out. I think she was like, What the fuck, dude? Like, yeah, I couldn't believe it. I was shocked, but it was okay. It was like, I don't know, man. I was, that was like eight years ago, and a yeah. lot, a lot's changed. I mean, the band was picking up. We were doing some pretty big things the year before, and then we were still doing some festivals and having mm-hmm. fun. And yeah, so. We and transitioning from an, one guitar player to the next and all that. So I was just I was focused on music, anyways, and I, don't know, I was single a lot of that time. So 
Yeah, it was cute. You guys yeah. had you guys. Anyways, you guys were playing a lot in uh, the Deville Theater in Vacaville, which I don't even think that's a, is that still a theater? Is that is that sh- it is still open? It's called Bits Journeys. Journeys. Yeah, yeah, and we're like Journey's coffee, coffee shop. Yeah, that's so ridiculous. They still have shows there, and some one of the members from Papa Roach laughed. He was like, "What? Why are you gonna have a coffee shop at this humongous theater? Yeah, that you, it's so much potential and, and shows and all that." Tony P last week. Tony P last week said that, yeah, the drummer was like, that's weird. It's a coffee shop. And I said, yeah, man, it's just, that was, a, that was a cool show. We just played, actually played uh, at this place called abide. It's a dispensary in Napa, California. Okay. And a really awesome dispensary. Like mm-hmm. they had this cool stage they set up for everything and like a mm-hmm. huge sound system and sounded amazing. And then like, they gave us like all like goodie bags and mm-hmm. bro, I have enough <laughs> weed to last me like two months. It's like <laughs> it's a lot of weed, like pre rolls, just so much shit. I was just yeah. like, I would love to get paid like this, like every gig. Like that would be, yeah, dude. Paid in uh, weed. Come on, paid for we two paid. months worth of weed. Like I would never. <laughs> I would always have weed. So it's like if I need yeah. something, like hey, you want to come over and smoke a joint and like let me get some eggs or something. Like, yeah. <laughs> you know, you can barter with that shit. You know, what, oh, yeah. you know, what's, you know what's cool about they went ghost is. Your guys' live performance, I remember seeing you guys play once at Cheers or something like that. And, you know, I don't know if it's a if it's a uh, Northern California thing that people have, but a lot of the bands from there have similar stage presence. And it's you guys literally rock out on stage and don't just stand there. And even if a band doesn't know you, it's, or let's say the audience doesn't know who you guys are, they're going to want to come in close to the stage just because the energy that you guys put off. You know, yeah. is that something that's important for other band members? Let's say, you, you know, you said you had a, a new band member was like stage presence, something you talked about prior to a new member joining uh, They Went Ghost. Um, no, I, don't, I don't know. Not really. It was just kind of like how we felt it. Mikey in the band, our guitar player is still most energetic guy ever. He'll jump around. He, he Both Cagleys. Both Cagleys. Just those and, guys. And Dan, it. too. Yeah, they do. <laughs> they, just, they, as, they were meant to be rock stars. As soon as it's like go time, <laughs> yeah. it's just energy for those guys. So. Yeah, they, it, it's awesome. Yeah, I think it's it awesome. has a lot to do with us growing up and like our music scene we had down here. Like, well, we went to, Roach, yeah, yeah was like we used to go to Three Oaks, bro, and we'd, we'd throw down at Three Oaks. Like, mm-hmm. there's mosh pits, there's crowd surfing, there's all sorts of stuff. And that was just like any Friday night. Like, Papa Roach didn't need to be playing like it could have just been like tenfold or something was down yeah yeah you know and or dredge came and played and it would be fucking popping and we just remember watching those bands and you remember (laughs) going to those shows like every single band that played there if they were good they were just giving it their all so it's like that's what you saw so that's what you kind of replicate when you do it yourself you know so yeah and uh didn't jacoby shaddix wasn't he kind of Put, did, did he supported that uh, they went ghost didn't he for a little bit well, when no, he comes I mean, to some of the concerts no he's never been to a show but he's definitely hung out with us and 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 we've all vibed and, and chilled up in the green room with them and uh, on multiple occasions actually and uh yeah we love those guys they're in their hometown bros and last week tony p was like you guys are hometown you guys are uh, the hometown boys uh, of or friends with my hometown boys uh bandmates and all that so it was, it's cool that we they know of us but right i don't know maybe one day when they're not on a million tours they might be able to, <laughs> yeah. they might be able to see us play but yeah shit never That's, know one day my, yeah, tony cool p enough. got to see us play <laughs> yeah tony's like you guys are awesome man so it was nice to hear from I mean, he's not an original vacaville member but he's right uh, Right. He yeah, he's their newest drummer and he uh, been with them for years and mm. he he got to catch our set so that was cool. That and cool, uh man. That, as far as energy, I mean, for me when I was just singing, oh, I was all over the place, man. I missed that, but I got a guitar and I got to focus on pedals and do the whole pedal hopscotch thing and it's so it's harder for me to to get but uh get the energy going as much as I used to, but when when there's a solid like rock drivey part, man, I get away from my pedals and just start rocking out a little bit. So we try to maintain that still. Good. So that's good. Don't yeah. ever lose that. Uh, don't ever energy. lose that. Uh, yeah, don't ever lose that energy. I think it's I think it's important, man. All right. So the song yeah. we're gonna play is uh, "Losing My Religion." This is not. We, I will make it clear. This is not the final cut version of this song. But it uh, will be released in the next two days. Okay, so, or and three the, days. And the final days. will be released. Uh, so what we have is a, I guess you redid some of the vocals on it or some of the sounds or whatever. Mm-hmm. 
Okay. Now, I do want to also let everyone know my favorite music video is Polar Bear. That song is so sick, but it is eight years old, and so we're pushing <laughs> your new shit, not your eight-year-old yeah. shit. All right, let's play Losing My Religion. Obviously, it's a cover right. song, so yeah. here we go. And I see Bryce right. in the video also. All right, here we go. All right. Hey, bitches on this side. <laughs> 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 Oh, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Watch out. I'm trying to film this bitch. Me on the left. So, right. Thielen and I are bitches. <laughs> I'm yeah, a bitch. I'm I, it's, funny, it's funny, I wrote that on there. <laughs> Showing doo doo paper. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even remember that. Who's showing doo doo paper? Who's showing doo doo paper? That was on our way um, down to uh, San Diego. Uh, unfortunately, Yuck. my phone is gonna die. So I'm gonna instead okay. of just like exiting abruptly, <laughs> I'm gonna awesome. make my my exit. Unfortunately, but right, um, Ava, I'll talk I'm to you sorry, soon. so brief. Um, but yeah, it's nice talking to you guys. Yeah, All nice right. to talk to you. Nice See to meet you, you Ava. All right, bye. Bye. All right, so dude, that is I look, I look at the beginning of the uh, song. You hear uh, like a guy singing Meredith Brooks, the I'm a bitch, I'm a lover, whatever. <laughs> that was Leland. Leland. Yeah. I, you know what? Fucking, I'll, I'll admit it. I used to like that song. 
yeah. <laughs> watch that song back in the day. <laughs> hey man, the '90s were a great era for music. That's all yeah. I gotta say. I noticed from that video until now, Joe's beard got a lot more gray. Oh like, yeah, <laughs> like it happens so fucking fast, doesn't it? Like yeah. almost when overnight, it seems like the kid, mine too. It's all patchy now. Yeah. <laughs> kids, man, kids <laughs> stress you out. So, Joe, yeah. you put that music video together yourself then. Is that right? Yeah, pretty much. It was just a lot of clips of, like, kind of our encompassing time. So there was Leland was in there, and then we had some stuff with other guitar player Ryan and just kind of everybody in the band. Um, and it's a cover song that we're, we recorded a while ago, but we never released it on Spotify or, you know, any of the major ones. And well, I put that video out on Facebook, and I had a lot of people hit me up. They're like, well, we're going to listen to the song at And I was like never released it so uh we recorded a new oh, it's also another old song that we kind of redid called illusion of choice okay and that's with the new thing that we're releasing here it should be hitting in the next couple of days um on all the streaming um platforms uh but colby went into the studio and basically just redid all the vocals to it and mm -hmm. made it this idea of the illusion of choice which i came up with and it's like kind of like the way the world is right now you think you have a choice about things but it's kind of an illusion like you're just Deep, you're gonna man. go in one way one way or another but it's, it's all that always... weed he's been smoking that he got for free <laughs> 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 it's like it's like it's like, yeah. it's like it's think a lot kind of like that but you know you've seen the little meme of the cow you know where it says like enter here for something or enter here or whatever but it all just leads to the slaughterhouse and it's kind of yeah. like the same idea that's okay, kind of how cool. everything is Yep. What, what, what's your plans for 2022? Are you, I know you guys are releasing this in a couple of days. Uh, do you plan on releasing more singles? And do you guys also plan on touring and taking it on the road? Um, well, actually, we have a couple festivals coming up that are pretty okay. awesome. We have a Mountain Vibe Music uh, Festival out in uh, Crystal Basin, which is like in the Desolation and Wilderness area. And we're opening up for the Expendables. So okay. that's going to be sweet. And then we have Porch Fest July 31st out in Napa, which is going to be a real big event as well. So we're really excited about that. Uh, as for recording, we have two songs in mind that we're going to record. Uh, just a start of, you know, a whole new, new idea. There's a song that we wrote a long time ago called Lush that we never got to record. So we're going to do that one. And then we have cool. a brand new song called Sinking that we're going to record. Uh, as for the road, uh, I don't know, man, like I'm, I'm out here and I got a baby and a wife, yeah. so it's we're hard. just kind of, it's hard with the kids and stuff. Yeah, it's so we're... much harder when you, when you have kids to be able to do stuff like that, you know, and yeah. people, Everybody's got it's, jobs. it's doable, it's, it's doable, but it makes it a lot harder, yeah. you know, jobs, you can almost work around a little bit more than kids. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I Take mean, like a two week vacation or something, and go yeah. do like a little mini thing or something. Yeah. Like a West Coast thing up and down, like, you know, California, Oregon, Washington. But, you know, we'll, that'll be, I don't know. It, we'll, we'll have to see what's up, like where we're yeah. at at the time and stuff. But it's always been in the back of our minds. But we know that it's very expensive, it's a hassle. It, yep. you know it really is. And but if, you, you if to, you're not going to tour, if you're not going to tour, how then do you expect? How do you plan on pushing the band? If you guys are being serious and you want to do make it a, a career, right? How do you plan? Uh, maybe we're old maybe now. Not. Yeah, no. <laughs> back, back in our twenties, yeah, that was the idea. But it's just fun to have to have music, have these guys, and mm. and do this still. And we still have our our plugs, our connections, and we're you know we're doing what we can with it. And uh, but at the same time, I mean, yeah, man. It, there's no way in hell I'm going to be a 50 year old man who loses his voice and can't tour after all the work I put into it. No, you know I, I, there's I, yeah. <laughs> not, ev not everyone thinks like you, but I, at least on the show, they don't say that. Mm -hmm. But I bet I guarantee you, there's more people that probably just lied to me when I asked that question. Yeah. At least you're honest about it. Because some people yeah. are full of shit, dude. They're just gonna like, say yeah, we're going to make it big. Yeah. There's no way in hell that a band uh, or <clears throat> like bands can even, I mean, some bands out there can make it. But mm -hmm. you know, nothing like it was like in the 90s or early 2000s, man. It's just really totally hard to now. do it. Yeah. Yep. It's all, it's well, all. Now you it's all about going. It's about yeah. going viral. It's about having going something viral. That's super yep. catchy and honestly, like that's why I'm 
my whole focus I like to do is towards making music. That's why I've like, right. I've got a bunch of stuff set up here at my house now, or mm-hmm. I have recording capabilities. I have a, a decent computer that can run all my stuff. I got plugins and I have a lot of ideas and Colby was always making stuff and sending it to us and things like that. So like we have a very good outlet as far as b- making music and bringing new material in. And I just like to make something that's, fucking kick ass that just like yeah. gets on something and just like takes off that that's my and then like what i would look forward to yeah. because i don't really feel like we've been doing music for a long time like the music business yeah. is a fucking tough business bro like yeah we've been involved in some things where like we're like okay this is gonna be it this is gonna be it and yeah it never is you know what i'm and saying yeah keep plucking away and yep. it's luck yep. and it's the type of music you play and just having that that well, hit but, song that catchy well, keep- now nowadays because i've talked to like you know over 200 fucking like over 250 bands i think i've talked to yeah at this mm-hmm. point uh you know i would say that you just got you got to push 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 you got to hit the road like any man that's going to be successful now you're gonna i mean you just got you got to like, like fucking just push that shit as much as you can with touring and advertising and just it takes it takes a lot because bands can't do it even older bands can do it uh, without any kind of label, labels don't do shit anymore, man. Like they, nah, they yeah. still do, but not like not like what it what it used to be. You know, I, I know I personally know a guy signed to Warner Brothers. And well, yeah, he, not he, for our genre of music. No, if you're a pop not star, for rock music. You're yeah, right. if you're a pop star, if you're you're if you're, if you're bubble gum electronic <laughs> shit, you're, yep. you're 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 good. But like rock for industry, us, there's no there's no love for the rock industry, dude, nope. with the record labels anymore. You're right. I'm glad you said that. It's not all. It's really just just like hard rock and, and rock. Music. Yeah, and it, and that's the thing. Well, no. A lot of reggae music is huge right now. It's awesome. A lot of white boy reggae out there mm. is is gigantic now, and I love it. And I love that we we've been together for like I want to say thirteen years now uh, since two thousand eleven, something like that. I mean, we were okay. under a different name, and then we switched a couple members up. But me and eleven years, yeah. Le- so some yeah, eleven years, a decade like that. basically, a decade. Yeah. So we've been together. We've we've had the ideas of. Uh, we love the reggae. We all, or I did, and I was, I always incorporated it in our music. And I'm glad that, uh, you know, that genre has hit it big. So we still fit into that that genre yeah. now. The heavy rock stuff, you know, the the old school '90s like headbanger stuff is just, it really is 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 like a thing of the past. But we like, I mean, we want to play what we want. We want to play what makes us happy uh melodic stuff we're still stuck in that era <laughs> so in our minds so we keep that alive and that's that's all that's important to me and there's still people that that move their head to it like dude you guys are great and you remind me of a better time i, I mean i hear that all the time so dude, it's cool I, I had i had a bandana on the other day in my aviator sunglasses and i put a picture on facebook and i told uh, i told i have a producer named sam and i told him i said i'm gonna start wearing that uh, on my show you know, mm-hmm. to kind of look a little cooler than than my normal self, and, yeah. and he goes, he goes, "What is this fucking 2002?" I was yeah. like, "God damn it!" <laughs> I, I still think it's cool that I realized, "Fuck, I know, I'm man." Before Some, we did it a, rocking the good Charlotte look. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude, to me that's still cool. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Where's your Von Dutch hat at, bro? Where's your Von Dutch hat at? <laughs> that's awesome. You know, when we were kids, man, you know, I grew, I grew up with Joe. I've known Joe at least at least since high school. I think yeah. you're like a year younger than me, so I probably knew of you in junior high, and you always. Uh, played bass uh, since I've known you and I feel like most people except for like a, a certain crew of people that I knew that I grew up with but like everywhere else a lot of people just kind of stop playing music and Joe you've been in a band I mean I, I I do music still but it's not like consistent like how you have been doing it and you know David Wade he doesn't play guitar uh, really, I don't even think he, ha- he if he has one I don't think he plays it very much and it's just a lot of people quit doing music and you just have not quit man and that is so cool that you still have that inside you and able to to rock out on stage and that's awesome. Yeah, man. Hey, David Wade, it wasn't he in the band Cricket? Wasn't that yeah. their band? Yeah, I, I was in that, that band. Like, yeah, you were in that band. Well, the drummer, bro. Well, I, I was, but then right I on, left man. and moved, and then they got some other drummer. But I started that band with David. That's awesome, man. That's really cool, dude. I didn't know you were in that band too, bro. I, I remember meeting David, and I think he invited me to play in the band. I think second guitar. Something like that. I don't know if you were in the band still, Sebastian. No, but... that's probably when I left. He was probably like, yeah. fuck A1 Ghost, being Cricket. We're going to make it famous. 
No, that was back. <laughs> I remember cricket was back on the moonset days because that's when yeah. we're all like jamming at the like uh, storage units. And yeah, stuff. we started yeah. that shit, dude. Yeah. We started yeah. the storage unit shit. And yeah. in fact, Joe, Joe, Joe played for cricket for a few months when Halden went to Italy because he got deployed. Oh uh, yeah, we did oh, a show, yeah. like a house party or something like that. I remember the house. Yeah. Doing Peaches was the singer for that show. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why, right, because Daniel guys are like, and that was so fun because like we were damn near all except I think you and David were like just freestyling. <laughs> just yeah. like, we don't know what we're doing, but this is heavy and it's gonna be fun and just whatever. That's cool, man. Yeah, That's that, tight. that was a very interesting, interesting show. I remember that one. I was like, yeah. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, but I, I'll, I'll we, make it sound good. <laughs> what's cool too is we don't ever have those moments in our band. We always write and practice it, but we had a freestyle moment last weekend that ended up turning into a hit. We were like, okay, we're gonna go nice. record this. Yeah, so nice. it's nice when you have that. I'm going it. I don't even know how this is gonna turn out. Well, what we're gonna take a shot in the dark here. And it ended up being really sick. So no, normally I do yeah. that shit when I'm drunk and I record. I think it sounds hella cool. <laughs> then I wake up the next day, I'm like, fuck, that sucks. That sounds like, yeah, really? yeah, it. I try to unsend it to all my friends I sent it to on Facebook Messenger. Like, unsend, <laughs> unsend, unsend. That's, that's awesome. Oh, man. <laughs> Dude, yeah. hey, we're at the 30 minute mark. So I appreciate right, you buddy. guys coming on and talking with me. Please don't leave just yet. Wait till after the outro song plays. I do have another question. Yeah, just guys- let's make that shout out again for the release coming up. Oh yeah, the shout out. Yep. it's coming out two days. Illusion of choice. Losing my religion, right? Well, losing no, my religion. Lucidity. Illusion of choice and lucidity. and lucidity. Three songs on the three uh, song EP is going to be released all over the place. Um, iTunes, Spotify, everywhere. You, yeah, every platform is, you can think of. Is this is this is this is this music video already available on YouTube? The one that we just played. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. So it's already on there. And are you going to re-release it with the newer version? <laughs> that would be cool. We could. could. Yeah. You could go yeah. back and do that. You know, the show and doo-doo paper and take me out of there with a the cigarette, dude. I don't, I don't smoke anymore. Those are gross. It's memories. Nasty. Memories. I know. I'm just <laughs> memories. <laughs> Shitty memories of that, of those cigarettes though. But anyways, but anyways, guys, you guys have a good one. Thanks for the invite, Sebastian. And, yep. uh, yeah, right. humble. Stay, right, stay right there. Stay right there for one second. I do want to All thank right. everyone that watches the loud spot. Please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check us out on all podcast audio platforms. Also, we got a Patreon page, patreon.com forward slash the loud spot. Oh, and last thing I always forget to mention, we do have an app on Apple and Android. So you just type in the loud spot in your app store, download it. You can get our YouTube videos and all of our audios right on the app. Also, www.theloudspot.net. I got all kinds of shit going on. That's all the time we got. Peace out. Rock on. One more thing. Love. Go follow us on IG and Facebook. At TikTok. They Went Ghost. And TikTok. And TikTok as well. Thank follow you guys. everyone on every platform. Everybody. <laughs> Loud Spot. Yes. All right. Bye, guys. This is the Loud oh, Spot outro by Nothing Short of Tragic. Is this all talk with no action? No. Is this my thoughts with distraction? No. Is this what I bought that's in fashion? Or is this the loud spot with Sebastian? Yes. Does nothing short of tragic have his back again? Yes. Does everything that's good really have to end? Yes. A pin post has a pin show, so to get more episodes, make an order. This is over. Thanks for watching our video. Don't forget to click the like and share button. Don't forget to go to our YouTube and subscribe. If you want to listen to our audio and pick up some cool merch, go to www.theloudspot.net. Peace out, rock on, much love.